Hello everyone, welcome to the Nerds Beyond Nerd. Right here, I'm playing a different game um, called Dear Esther. I'm still obviously going to continue Amnesia because that's that's a great game. But I just decided, you know, we need we need something else, a little more. So um, this is a brand new game. I think it is anyway. I think it's based off of a 2008 um, Half-Life. 1 or 2 mod? I, I'm not too sure about it. I'm not even too sure about this game. It looks very amnesia-like, but uh, I try and do some research. It's basically just, you walk around, it's no real action, but it's supposed to be amazing. So, here we go. Putting a timer on so I know how long I've been recording. Uh, yes. Okay, I will play this chapter. A little dots, loading up my game. You're cool, I guess. Come on. Load up. I haven't got all the time in the world. Come on, come on. Come on. There you go. Dear Esther, I sometimes feel as if I've given birth to this island. Somewhere between the longitude and latitude, a split opened up and it beached remotely here. No matter how hard I correlate, it remains a singularity, an alpha point in my life that refuses all hypothesis. I return each time leaving fresh markers that I hope, in the full glare of my hopelessness, will have blossomed into fresh insight in the interim. Okay. Wow, look, look at the graphics on this. They're not like the most amazing thing, but they point out what needs to be pointed out. I think if I click, I kind of zoom in a little. Uh, some some grass textures going through this boat, but that doesn't matter. It's a big red light thing over there. Let's just check out this house. Oh, my flashlight just turns on on its own. Some paint cans. Yeah. Some... Some jizz on the floor. It's, it's not nice. Let's get out of here. Alright, Slenderman. Where are you? Oh, someone took a nasty old dump in this toilet. And someone took a nastier dump in that sink. Can I pick this up? It's not. What's this? Uh, a hair branding in history. Okay. Oh. Uh, my brain can't math right now. What's this? Certificate of Approval. Oh, it's awful creepy in here. The lighthouse is all blocked up. What's this? Picture of a little girl. I gotta pick things up. I can just look at them. I can't interact. Okay. Oh, bird. Yeah, I guess I'm going off this way. Can I sprint? No. Oh, well, it's very beautiful. It's a very beautiful game. I feel like I'm on... I feel like I'm in Ireland. Like one of the Iron Islands. I don't know why. There's a letter here. Yeah. Oh no, that's not a letter, it's just a weird rock texture. Beautiful game. I think this runs on Donnelly the... Donnelly reported oh. the legend of the hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, in all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. 
They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Okay. So there's a legendary hermit in a cave. I think that cave I looked at must be the cave, so I'm probably going to have to go there at some point in the game. Let's see if I can get around this. Ooh. Come on. Nope. I can't. I'm going to fall. Oh well. I guess we can just go along the beach. Beautiful beach. This, does, this game does feel a lot like amnesia though. With the dust blowing in your hair. Yeah, some, some garbage. This isn't good. You shouldn't... What are these? They're like crab cages. Something. I don't know. Fishing. Something used for fishing probably. This game is very slow. I want. Oh. Can I help this when you way? were born, your mother told me a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that, that you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I began to manufacture vacuums just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six and had gone completely by the time we met your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. Hmm. Some weird story going on. Guess I'm trying to get to that uh kind of like radio tower thing over there. And uh as as I did down there I I was deciding whether Donald I should go up. book had oh. not been taken out from the library okay. since 1974. I decided it would never be missed as I slipped it under my coat and avoided the librarian's gaze on the way out. If the subject matter is obscure, the writer's literary style is even more so. It is not the text of a stable or trustworthy reporter. Perhaps it is fitting that my only companion in these last days should be a stolen book written by a dying man. The game keeps interrupting me, but as I was saying, uh, as you can see down there, uh, before I went up those stairs, I was deciding whether I should go up the when stairs. When someone had oh, died God. or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid, or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff path died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this. To keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Okay, the game keeps interrupting me. Uh, some weird path I'm taking. What was that? I um. quote directly. A motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? Oh, is there a ship down there? Oh, the cave thing's down there. Guess that's where I'm headed. What's that thing up there? Can't tell. I don't have the best zoom. It's okay. It's a zoom, either way. This game... This game's really all about, like, it's... Perspective. Rather than it's gameplay. You're supposed to, like... Dear Esther, Ugh. I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. 
My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. I would leave you presents outside your retreat in this interim space between cliff and beach. I would leave you loaves and fishes, but the fish stocks have been depleted and I've run out of bread. I would row you back to your homeland in a bottomless boat, but I fear we would both be driven mad by the chatter of the sea creatures. Okay. There's some weird textures on the wall. It's kind of like writing of sorts. Paint. There's a lot of paint in this game. That looks like some kind of like upside down squid. It'll probably all connect to like later on in the game. Clothes. Oh, these must be the gifts. Bones. That's unnerving. Okay. Well, that's a tree, obviously. So let's get out of here. There's nothing in here. I guess it's just more to the storyline. Hmm. I guess... I'm headed back up that way. The music in this game is supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be like triggered at really good times and things like that, you know. I've become convinced I'm not alone here, even though I'm equally sure it is simply a delusion brought upon by circumstance. I do not, for instance, remember where I found the candles, or why I took it upon myself to light such a strange pathway. Perhaps it is only for those who are bound to follow. So I think that means I'm not alone, and there's somebody else here on the side with me. It could be G-Man. That would be pretty interesting. Alright. What have we got here? I'm pretty convinced I'm in Ireland now. Some more weird symbols. They don't mean anything at the moment. We have what looks like a Bible in Units 3 Chemistry. Well, that's weird. Already I'm pretty Entrance in the storyline. God, I bet there's like a million directions you can go. I did hear that this game is a lot like, um, in a way, it's like Left 4 Dead. You know, it'll every time you play it, it's always different. Like, items will be here and then they'll be there. Like, it's always changing around. So uh, let's see how this. I guess actually Silent Hill would be a better way to describe that. Because I think, I don't know, but there could be like multiple endings. Or in like everything's all, always, oh, everything's always switched around. Oh, going dark. Loading up. Uh, dots. Good old dots. Dot, 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 dot. Here we go. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. 
But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimetre using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome break services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. So I guess I'm playing the guy who's narrating and I'm searching for some weird object or something or some room or treasure I have a no idea but um, I'm gonna go down check out this boat once I get down to the boat I'm gonna end this first episode of Dear Esther uh, I've liked it so far it's just the very beginning of the game of course but it's very good. It's, oh, shit. Can you see that? Right there. On the cliff. Can you see it? Look. Kind of like outline of a map. God, that's weird. I'm going up after him. I'm just gonna... I'm walking after this dude. Uh, I don't know if the boat serves a purpose. This dude seems more interesting than anything else. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Walk my way over to him. I'm gonna... Scamper slowly. With an angry look. In a big frown. It's gonna be a grrr. What are you doing on Silent? I should be the only one here. Uh. Where do you go? It's only at night that this place makes any sluggish effort at life. You can see the boy and the aerial. I've been taking to sleeping through the day in an attempt to resurrect myself. I can feel the last days drawing upon me. There's little point now in continuation. There must be something new to find here. Some nook or some cranny that offers a perspective worth clinging to. I've burnt my bridges. I've sunk my boats and watched them go to water. Neither did he eat or drink, written on the side of the boat. God, that's so weird. This game is just... Where that dude go? This game is just so weird. I passed my 15 minute marker, but I'll go for 20 minutes. Since this game is a slow enough game. Oh, butterfly. Uh, I'm not gonna bother exploring. I'm not gonna try and explore down there. I guess if we go up that way, I'll end up at the, like, aerial mast. Some tells me I'll end up there anyway. It seems very alluring. Looks like a place that's just gonna have to happen. But we'll see in time. Uh, did I come down that way? I think I did, so it looks like... Yeah, I am going to go this way, I suppose. And I still have like another two minutes left, so... I'll just ramble on about anything. Today on my pre my personal channel, uh, that's flat on the couch. It's not much up there, just some weird old Team Fortress videos. Uh, my mom took a video of my cat playing with a dead mouse and my dog's just watching. It's weird. Sorry, I have a touchscreen t I have a touchscreen computer and I'm just trying to wipe this thing off of it. But anyway. Uh should I go down to the boat? I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. 
Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Mm -hmm. It looks like this boat over here is more interesting. So let's head over to that with the remaining 40 seconds I have for this video. If I can get over to it anyway. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? Hmm. Okay. Well, that says neither did he eat or drink. So, I don't know if it's referring to me, or if it's referring to some other character, but I've passed my 20 minutes. So, thank you for watching the Nerds from Yonder, Brett here. Uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, comment, subscribe, and see you next time on Dear Esther.